used a little more cowbell. <laughs> What's going on everybody? This is Alf from PlaybookGamer.com and in the last video we took on Cal, then number 18 Cal. We won by a touchdown. Great game. Close one. We are now 2-0. and We are going to take on Baylor today. They are 3-0. and We can check out their stats here. It looks like we got a little more talent than they do, but they're doing something right. They're undefeated on the season as are we. Should be a lot of fun. Before we play them, let's go ahead to recruiting. Now, at the end of the last video, we uh, made our adjustments. We went through a bye week. That didn't hurt us too much. I don't think it did. We went down for this kid right here, but it's going to be an LSU-Mississippi State battle. And we're practically tied for first anyways. We're in good shape with him, though. Free safety, it's going to be us and LSU again, but he likes one of our pitches. So if we could just get him to visit and win that game, then I think we have a good chance of getting him. He'll start for us day one more than likely if we can get a kid like that. Ryan Jenkins, the halfback, I'd love to have him again. It's us and LSU. We're in good shape there. Let's see. Outside linebacker, we're in the top five for this kid. I'd really like to have him. Uh, let's see, Darren Pitts, the wide receiver, we're in good shape for him. Now, here is, we're in the top five for this tackle, but he doesn't like one of our pitches, so I can either stick with him and hope for the best, and I think I may do that. If we could just get in the top three, we may have a chance of getting him. I've done it before, but it's hard. And the strong safety. Okay, now it looks like he, we got a negative pitch here. This isn't good either, but we're at least number one. And I don't know. We'll just see what happens there. What I can do, like we're in good shape for this defensive tackle. I can either still try to go after these two players or just get don't bother and dump their points on the other players. And I, I think I may do that, to be honest. For example, I don't really need a tackle. I got plenty of tackles as is. I already have five. I got plenty of coming back. And he's just a three-star kid. So, you know, what I may do, it, since it's so hard to get these guys to commit, I'm going to put him down to a zero, and I'm not going to bother. Strong safety, I, I wouldn't mind having him, but I wasn't super thrilled looking at his stuff, but we needed better players to strong safety. I'm hoping we could pick up somebody better in the offseason. And... I just don't think it's worth putting in the points. I'd rather take my chances and dump their points onto somebody else. So let's go ahead and put 15 on the other six guys, maybe. Maybe five. We got here, here. So we got 10 points left. We are going after six players. So we're just going down to six, which I'm perfectly fine with. Let's go 17, 17, 17. We'll go 16, 16. And we'll do 17 for this guy, only because we're like number two on his list. So I'm perfectly happy with that. Let's go after these six guys, and we'll see what happens there. Sports Illustrated, there won't be a whole lot to see here, I don't think. Top 25 polls. Now, it shows here that LSU is out of it. They've lost two in a row. I don't know what's happening with their program. Either way, we got to play them in the next game. It's still going to be really tough, but we are not close to the top 25 yet. Conference standings, I don't really care, and we haven't done anything with it yet. And we always look at that in the preview of each game. Looks like Texas Tech is having a good season. Quarterback, halfback, receiver, all in the top five. Good for them. All right, I think that's it. There's not much else to see, so let's go ahead and take on the Baylor Bears. I've already done some scouting. They are a 4-2-5 team, and they say they're balanced both offensively and defensively. And their playbook is more gun-oriented than anything else. So that gives me a rough idea of sort of what to look at in terms of their defense. And But it all it's all predicated on who their impact players are. That's kind of where they will do most of their damage. We have our tackle out for one more game. He was suspended. Looks like they have a halfback and a defensive end out. But it looks like their quarterback and receiver, they're doing damage so far. So I'm guessing they're more passing-oriented this season. 
We're 49th in the country, and they're 43. Should be a good game. I like where the offense is heading. It's a lot of fun. All right, let's watch the preview. Hi, everybody. Brad Nessler here with Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit bringing you today's exciting matchup. We got a pretty night for some football. Perfect weather. Scott Field. It's been non-stop hard-hitting football so far early in the season, and we hope to continue that as the season goes Stadium's a little bit bigger than the one in UNLV. I'm sure they'll have them predicted win. Of course, 43 and 49 is kind of close. There we go, Big Sanders. He hasn't done much this year, but maybe he'll have a big game tonight. We're going to need some help. We, our front four, I feel like they've underachieved so far this year. Oh, he's picking the Bears. All right, let's see who won the toss. Looks like we did. We want the ball in the second half. All right, let's check out their roster. Okay, starting quarterback, he's got 74 speed. Throwing power, 86. Throwing accuracy is 80. Their top halfback is out, but his backup is basically the same. A little faster. Okay, wide receiver. This is where their bread is buttered. They got two impact wide receivers, which you don't see too often. So they got a really strong receiving core. So this kind of tells me they're going to throw the ball some today. Tight end. Not a whole lot there. You got 85, 72, 76, 70, and 72. Not much on the offensive line. Their left tackle's pretty good, but the rest of it's not so much. Like I said earlier, they run a 4-2-5, so their ends are 82 and 72. His backup's a 72. This guy's out six weeks. Defense tackle, 85 and 76. So the front four is uh, okay. But 56, 62, is, if their linebacker core is not good at all. That's pretty bad. Corners, 72 and 68. Not much of the corners. Free safety, 85. And they're, okay, yeah. If you're going to run a 4-2-5 defense, you better have good strong safeties. And they got an 88 and an 84, one of them being an impact player. So at least they're strong in that particular position. A terrible kicker and an average, below average punter. Okay, that gives me a rough idea. Let's get this show on the road. Should be a good one. It's a good solid kick out of the gate. Course is not very strong. It's a good stop there. Looks like they're going two tight ends. Let's see. Let's we'll start off with quarters. Nope, let's go back. Play action. Ooh, almost intercepted. Super close. Four wide receivers. We'll do quarters from nickel. I'll stay in view here. Play action. Ah, first down. Who do you go after? I was going to go to the angle right on the sideline or that guy coming closer. Another four wide receiver set. They said they went four wide receivers. You have to go with two tight ends. That makes a ton of sense. It's a good stop there by Little John. Let's do a zone blitz. I know they don't have a tight end hanging, but I'm going to break it up a little bit. Wide open. Easy play there. Nobody came even close to pre putting pressure on the guy. Just didn't make the play on the ball. You're right. It wasn't necessarily bad defense. The offense just executed. So it's pretty obvious they're going to throw quite a bit today. And you can't blame them. Somebody make a play except for that guy right there. What do you do? You can't do anything about that. I could have took somebody over, but I probably would have messed it up. 
Well, that's not the start you wanted. That's par for the course usually. They always give up a touchdown early. It's just too easy. Nobody's getting any pressure whatsoever. I mean, I can add a... If he's going to pick apart my quarters, I'm going to do something different. Front four's got to do something, though. And their offensive line isn't even that good. I'm a, heck, wasn't planning on taking it out. Okay, right hash. Let's do our two sub packages. We'll go here. Let's do triple out of the gate. We're going man nickel. Looks like we're definitely going to keep this. Looks like we got some room here. Let's just get out of bounds. Don't need the quarterback to get hit too much. That's a good run there. Uh, let's do power. Let's just stay in the same set. We're going zone 4 2 5. They're shifting that way. We'll stick with this. We'll get vertical with it. Pick up the first there from Bradley. Okay, let's go. Let's go QB choice out of trips over. We're going man nickel. As long as they don't shift too hard to the left, I'm definitely going to hand this thing off. Good little run here. Ah, juke way too late. That's a good run there, though. We'll stay here and let's do speed. It's second down and four to go. Ball on the 47 yard this is 4 2 5 again. I might as well just go left. High snap, not what we wanted. I had to get a little patient here. High snap. So we can't run the option part. So I'm not using the speed button. I'm just kind of waiting for somebody to get in the way. Looks like Thornton. Got a good little block there and another little block by the tight end. Just enough for me to break loose. Pick up a first down. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Let's go. Let's go with a triple running back play. Or the double running back, whatever you want to call it. We're going zone. Ooh. Let's go this way. That's a good pitch. Good timing. Nice, six points. We'll break this play down, but first we got to do. Good play here. I decided to go right. Only, I mean, the numbers are pretty even for the most part. I know they're the top free safety is over to the right more, so I could have went left, but I have a whole lot more grass to work with on the right. We had good blocking. The right tackle had a good block right there, but the pitch, this is where it's at right here. Perfect timing on the pitch. And then it's just off to the races. This is why you want speed at halfback in this offense. And a good block here by Nicholas to finish things off. Awesome. Okay, let's tie this thing up. We can watch this again. Just the timing. Just, ooh. And again, when it comes to the speed button, when you're trying to pitch it, Try not to use the speed button when you do so. Your pitching accuracy is better. The timing is better. Again, the speed button is only useful for you if you feel like you have to outrun somebody who's chasing you. Other than that, don't use it that often. All right, let's get back on defense and try to stop them somehow. Not a very strong kick. And I'm going to need a better kicker. I mean, I'm glad I picked up Thomas. He's better than the other guy we got. But we're going to need better talent at that position for sure. All right, we're going to try a zone blitz. I'm going to go after this cat. I just can't have him fullback dive right up the gut. That was an easy play. I'm not expecting that. We'll go back to quarters. Going gun tight. Ooh, 
overthrew it, thankfully. We're going to go back to a zone blitz. Don't run to the right. Half back direct. Very fortunate for the high snap. Otherwise, he would have got an easy first down. Third and four. We'll try Cloud. But they can easily run it. And they surprisingly, they're running a little bit more than what I expected. It wouldn't shock me if they run it here. Oh. And he, you got to be kidding. What do you do about that? Nothing you can do about it. He just, He's just going to make his plays. Look at this. Safety didn't make a good play there either. So they're just moving it right on us like it's nothing. We got to figure out what to do about it. A couple of the players can't hear that. Hopefully that'll mess them up. Oh, you got to be kidding. Blew right by me. Gosh. They're just making it look too easy right now. I don't know what to do about it yet. Somebody needs to make a play. And perfect play. What do you do about that? Think it's... Gosh. Well, our defense is playing terrible. I mean, I've, perfect timing. The quarterback is playing perfect football right now. So we got to, I don't know, we're going to have to just outscore him, I guess, today. Because nothing is working on defense. And he tacks on the extra point. And here's the Pontiac drive summary. So let's get the ball back and try to tie back up again. Let's see if Nicholas can do something here. Good little run there. We're on the right hash. We can spread it out. Let's do speed option. We're going man four two five. So who's on who? Uh, I guess we got to go right. Had to pitch that out quick. Good little play there. Let's stay here and let's do a PA read. We're going man, and that, hmm, I may just hand this off. I think that one guy is blitzing. And that was a good play call there. The nickel was blitzing from the right side, so I just handed it off. Plus, we had a light box. It was a five-on-five -five situation, so it was pretty obvious to, to just keep it. Let's go back to QB choice from Bunch. I don't think we'll call that yet, but we're going zone. They're not shifting hard, so just don't fumble it. Get about five yards there. Let's stay here. Let's do a wide receiver option. We're going man. This is my preference for this particular play. Ah, dang it. I should have just kept it. Wasn't expecting that. Let's go back to, let's just do speed option, play it safe, and try to get the first down. We're going zone nickel. Let's go here. Let's pick up the first down. We are on the 16. I'm just going to keep running it. Uh, let's go here. Let's do off tackle. They're going man. I like it. I like it. They're going nickel as long as they don't shift hard to the left. Uh, let's see. Perfect. It's, he blitzed. What do you do about it? Nothing you can do. Just straight up blitzed it. So we'll try to make up those yards. They're going man and they're going dime. 
I know that safety's over there, but we can go ride since we got the grass to work with. That's good defense by the safety. Third and six. This may be two down territory for me. I really don't want to kick a field goal. I'm going to go for a halfback direct. We're going man. So who's going to be on the slot guy? Mm. Nope. Ter terrible, terrible play. Dang it. They was going to blitz either way. Well, that's not what we wanted. So we'll kick a field goal, I guess. Hopefully I can make this. Again, I don't have the best kicker in the world. We need some points. The kick is up. And it's good. Better than nothing, I guess. All right, down four, but offensively they're playing perfect football, and I don't know what to do about it yet. We just got to hope they make mistakes at this point. I don't feel like our defensive line is going to just take over. They, they would have done something by now. So I'm going to try to bait him in the interceptions. Very fortunate he got a hit right there. He had a, a ton of room to work with. I'm going to go with an extra hard blitz. I'm going to control the middle linebacker. Oh, you got to be kidding. I completely messed that up. I should have just left it alone. Dang it. Dang it. All right, third and three. They're going goal line. Too easy of a first down. Let's go back to a zone blitz, I guess. Right now, I'm just throwing darts at the dartboard and see if anything sticks. We had our perfect chance on that interception, and it didn't work. Thank you. Finally, our first positive play on defense. Five wide, we'll go quarters from here. Control the middle of the field. I don't know if he got tipped or he threw it way too low. Let's see, five, we'll do cloud. I'm going to go after the guy. We'll play defensive end in this situation. And dang it, dang it, dang it. Oh, good stop. Scares you to death when a guy's running like that. You never know what he can do. All right, that's the stop we needed. We got to take advantage of it. Let's get the ball back. Let's see if we can get a touchdown and get the lead. Somebody get a block on the right. He, I don't think he's going to catch me. He may be gone. No flags, no flags, no flags, no flags. Good deal. Give it to your best player. Let him make plays. Good blocking all around. And you know what we got to do. Good deal. Let's kick an extra point, and we'll get back on defense. Hopefully that's the first punt return of many for Humphreys. This is a much stronger kick, but it doesn't say a whole lot. It's still five yards out of the end zone. And you got an impact guy. You just never know what they can do with it. All right, we'll go back to quarters. For whatever reason, that guy can't even hear him. He's an impact guy. P. Reed. 
Ooh, almost intercepted. I didn't press any button there. The computer raised his arms for that one for me. Sometimes they'll do it. Sometimes they won't. All right. Do not run to the right. All right. Good deal. I'm glad they went counter. It's a little slower of a run play. All right. Let's go cloud. Third and long. That's the perfect situation you want to be in. Good. Finally, somebody got to him. All right, so let's get the ball back and let's stretch the lead if we can. Plenty of time in the quarter to get a couple more touchdowns if we can. Just don't fumble it. We'll give him a bit of a break. Uh, let's go. Let's go here and let's run the triple. The du it's called double option, but it's technically a triple option from two back slot. They're going five two. I wish they'd shift super hard, but we're gonna have to keep this. Yeah, I had no choice there. In this situation, we're outnumbered basically. I mean, I could have handed it off, but that probably would have got stopped and it looked like it did. And it would have if I had to hand it off to him. So I wanted to increase my odds and just keep it and run basic option. And thankfully Bradley was able to make a good play. Pitched, was perfect on the timing. And we got the first down. And they were lucky that one didn't go for more. No so I'm going to go back to this triple. This is my favorite one of split. Or going man. Uh, we'll just try it here. And it's just perfect defense. They just exactly what they had to do there. All right, let's try to make those yards back up. They're going zone four two five, and they're doing that. I'm gonna call a timeout. I'm not really like that situation. I don't like the audible that I have with that. Let's go. Let's go wide receiver under. Let's do an RPR. They're going zone. High snap, not what we wanted there. Terrible throw. Dang it. Gosh, you got to make a better throw than that. He just, bad throw. His accuracy is not where, it's need, where it doesn't need to be. We just got to deal with it while he's our quarterback. Good, much better throw and don't fumble at Humphreys. So we're in the middle of the field. I wouldn't mind trying to deep cross up. I don't know if he can handle it. The throw. They're going zone. We can try it. And he dropped it. Eh, just a bad play all around. Not a good play. Uh, we'll stay here. And let's go QB choice. We're going zone. Uh, let's do this. Good play here. Okay, I've decided to keep it with the quarterback. We just got an extra man advantage. And they're going zone. Sometimes I think when you QB choice, when you have your quarterback, he has a better chance to make a play than a halfback could. So we get good blocking going around here. Now I could have cut it up through that hole. I decided to go around here. No speed button whatsoever. Cut up field, and I decided just to die for it and just pick up a first down. Good run there. Uh, let's go. I'm going to flip it. I'm going to go. I just want to hand it off to my running back. All right, we're going to run a little clock. This is perfect setup. They're split. They're doing that, but if we can get decent blocking, I think we'll be okay. If we get good blocking, and it looks like we're going to get good blocking, just don't fumble it. I wanted that guy to tackle me instead of the safety. We're going to stay here and let's do speed option. 
or going man. I'm going to run to our right, or sorry, our left. We just got to watch out for that guy on the far left, that safety. As long as he doesn't blitz, we'll be able to read him. And I had no choice but to... Had to pitch that early. So third and three. We'll do another speed option. Just win a dat, run speed option. That's your safe bet. We're going zone here. Ooh. And a high snap. Dang it. Dang it. Flag. That's probably, I don't know. I wish it was offsides, but it's going to be on us. Hopefully it's a face mask on the defense. Wow. First, oh, wow, wasn't expecting that. We'll take it. Okay. We're going zone. We're just going to hurry it up because we may need extra downs. Good blocking here. Six points. Good deal. We got very lucky on the penalty. I didn't even see it, to be honest. Good block by Thornton. For Bradley to get the six points. <coughs> okay. 19 seconds. Let's get an extra point. Let's survive these last 19 seconds. And we'll get the ball started second half. And we'll try to stretch this thing even more. Offensively, I'm not worried about that whatsoever. We're going to put up our points. As, as long as we can contain them defensively, I think we'll be okay in this game. This is going towards the sideline. All right, they got, I don't know if they're going to try anything here. They're going four wide. But it wouldn't shock me if they just ran it. Nope, they're going to throw. They'll probably call it timeouts. Now... We will go cover two man and keep everything in front of us. I don't trust zone at this. I oh, almost had him. Almost intercepted. Eight seconds. We'll stay in nickel. Oh, okay. Now it's five seconds. They'll probably try a Hail Mary. Again, I'd rather just go cover two man. Uh, at least somebody, it'll be a hat on a hat. Just good stop there. All right, good deal. All right, we're up 10. I like where we're at. We didn't have any turnovers. We can check out some stats. We have 158 yards rushing so far. Passing game, we haven't got to do a whole lot yet. Haven't had to. It's good when you don't have to throw in this offense, for me at least, the way I want to run it. We can go to individual stats. Bradley's not throwing all particularly well. Rushing, good so far, though. Bradley, Thornton, Johnson, they've pretty much split the carries. Bradley and Thornton's got a touchdown apiece. All right, let's get right into it. We're ready to start the second half. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Kicks it off. Right down the pipe. Nine, we're we're going to let Thornton do something with it. Ooh, man, I feel like there was, there was a bit of a hole there almost. Uh, we can try. Let's do off tackle. I'm going to flip it this time. We're going zone. I forgot that guy was sitting over there. We can try a different way. Let's flip it. I'm not a big fan of that. I'm pretty sure they're going zone. No blocking whatsoever. Everybody blitzed. When they blitz, there's nothing you can do about it. I've ran that play a bunch in the past. It's it's a good play, but there's nothing. You, you just got to hope for good blocking. That's all you can ask for. 
So we're going to speed option. And they're going dime. Our tight end's going to have to chase down these guys right there. And they are, which is good. Which is get out of bounds. No need for him to get hurt. I want to go back to QB choice from Bunch. We're going zone. 4-2-5. We can try. I'll probably hand this off. Good blocking all around right here. Good deal. Just don't fumble it. Whew! Very lucky as long as he don't fumble it. Now, I want to try deep. Uh, hmm, no, that's zone. Let's... Uh, Let's do speed option. And if they go man, no, they're going zone. We'll stick with it. If they was going to go man, I was going to go to my wide receiver play. But they're going zone. Good blocking here. They went zone, so I wanted to provide an extra blocker, so I brought Nicholas over. Ended up working just well. He got a good block on the linebacker. So now it's just a one-on-one -on -one situation with this safety. Figure I'd go ahead and pitch it, let low, pick up some yardage. And they were lucky that one so now what I want to do is I want to try tr this triple option play, triple QB option, and I'm going to try to show you something if I can. We're going 5-2, man. We'll try this. No, we're going to have to go up. Okay. Let's talk about this play. This particular play is interesting because if you keep it with your quarterback, it forces the quarterback to go north a little bit before you have full control over the guy. So if you see what my quarterback does, I'm going to fake it, and he goes north. See, it forces me to go more north instead of going to the right to do a basic option with Johnson right here. But for whatever reason, this particular play, it forces him to go north a little bit. Then you can cut to the right, but it's just too much. But I saw a bit of a hole here, so I just kept it and went up field with it. Two yards there on the option keeper. We're close to the middle of the field. I'm going to try a deep cross up. We're going man. I can either keep it but as is, but I would actually prefer to run it. There we go. Get a little play here by Humphreys. Just get out of bounds. He's really fast. He's got 95 speed, and I can feel it. Eight-yard line. I want to give Bradley a bit of a break. You can tell he's a tad bit gassed. So we'll do the double running back play. We're going man, 4-2-5. We probably need to go to the right. We'll just cut up field. All right, the reason why I went to the right, and before we get into that... Had to get the cowbells going. I went to the right because in the box, there are seven guys. Majority of them are on the left side. So I was going to go to the right anyways. I didn't want Bradley to run it, so we're going to let the running backs handle it. So I just handed it off. I flipped it to the right. And we had good blocking all around up here. So it doesn't matter what I do at this point. I just cut up field and score a touchdown. Okay, our lead has stretched. Get an extra point. All right. Our defense played excellent in the second quarter. We want to keep it that way. Offensively, we're really kicking in gear right now. Everything's clicking on all cylinders. This is going to go towards the sideline again. Uh-oh, he's going. No, somebody stop him. It don't take much for one of those guys to do a big, make a big play. All right, Derek Moore, 43, injured his leg. <clears throat> 43, is he a linebacker? Hopefully it's not too serious. All right, they are going bunch. I had a good throw. Good, actually, it was a better catch than a throw. He had a dive for it. We'll go back to quarters. Yeah, 
Ooh, bad throw. Almost intercepted. Really close. I'm going to stick with quarters again. Derek Moore's coming back. Pull to Hammy. Can anybody hear it? The one impact guy, get, get us. He can't hear it. Another bad throw. Okay, thankful the quarterback's off his game a little bit. We'll try Cloud. I'm going to go after him. How many yards does he need? Ten. Let's see. I'm going to go to the outside. Interception by Akines. I think the quarterback was feeling the heat. You can see here from this angle. Did he throw off his back foot? No, he, his feet was set. He was going right in that hole right there, but it was nowhere to be found. Big play. So we're on the right hash. Uh, we can try. Let's do... Let's do... I always like to do play action off a turnover. We're going zone nickel. I'm going to leave it as is. We're going to throw this. Nice. Good catch. Good play by Nicholas. It went cover two. That's my cover two beater. We can stay here. Let's do QB choice. We're going zone nickel. We're going to move somebody over. And they've shifted it over. Let's get one of our bigger guys. Let's have Nicholas come over. Big play here. We'll break this play down. I brought Nicholas over. You can't see him. He's already on the far left. But we got good blocking. It helps to have guys who can just actually block for you. So I could have went to the outside right here. No, that guy was sitting over there. So I made the right call. I did a little juke. Pick up the first down. We have a little, some yardage. So let's try. I want to do a PA read. They're going man. Okay, we'll leave it as is. Now, I may, let's see, he's being double teamed. Let's do that. Good play by Garha. That was kind of a weird play. I had my joystick's messing me up and it shouldn't. Uh, let's try that again. All right, we'll go look at it from this angle. And we can look at it again. One thing I wanted to point out to you, right here, I audible our slot to a go. It didn't make a difference. They went one high, so I wasn't going to him. So our only man beater we have left technically is our dig route. And he was able to get wide open. It was actually ended up being a really good throw. And I'm letting the computer handle the rest of this. I'm still holding down the square button, not doing anything else. And he almost gets the first down. So good play there. All right, let's do a power option. Let's get in the end zone. We're going zone. And I may go right or left this time. Big play here. Touchdown. You know what time it is. Okay. I went right left. Oh, it's a good block there by somebody. Okay, I, we had less bodies on the left, so I wanted to go left. Plus, they went zone, so I motioned Nicholas over to get an extra blocker. Don't know if he got anybody. Yeah, no, he didn't block anybody. Good. They blitzed the corner, which was smart on their part, so I had to cut up a little bit. And I knew it wasn't going to get in the end zone right here, so I pitched it right before I got hit for six points. Awesome. Okay, I like what I'm seeing so far. I think we're in a good position. We're up 24, will be, hopefully. Kick the extra point. Defensively, I like where we're at. That's a big thing. Offensively, I knew we was going to be able to take care of things. I could kind of tell off the first couple of drives, we would do okay. They're just struggling with our run game, as expected. And it doesn't shock me that we're winning because we actually have more talent than Baylor does. I don't know if their schedule was weak out of the gate, but anyway, it's good to beat a 3-0 team. All right, we'll go back to quarters. 246 yards rushing so far. 
It doesn't take much to lead the nation in rushing. You barely need 150 yards to get in the top 10. So having 300 plus is pretty nice. Ooh, almost intercepted. Super close. Uh, let's do a zone blitz. They're going two tight ends, but and they're doing that. Let's do here. I'll control the middle linebacker. Play action. I guess he got sacked. I wasn't paying attention. I was looking at what I was doing. Third and 17. Somebody came through. I don't, we can go back and look and see who that was. Little John, probably. Yep. I blitzed from the other side, so I ended up working that well. He rolled to his left, and I had my blitzer on that side. So that's just a pure guess. Baylor comes out of the shotgun. Now I'm going to go to the outside because he normally likes to run to the outside if he scrambles. Oh, big play. Yeah. I did not like that matchup whatsoever. I knew that wasn't going to end well. It's a good play on their part. We'll go back to quarters. Ah, somebody stop him. There you go. Okay, a second and what? Seven? Six? Let's do a monster too. I'm going to just throw something weird at him. I just don't like him just sitting back there. Good defense by number three, our corner. So it's third and six. I want to go with a fire two. I want him to throw really quick. Almost intercepting. He was feeling the heat, so he had to get it off early. And they're going five wide here. We can go cloud. I may go. Let's just do this. That ain't good. Oh, he dropped it. We'll take it. One-on-one <laughs> -on -one situation. That was a good play by the quarterback, but the receiver couldn't bring it down. So we're on the right hash. Let's go triple option. We're going man. We have more advantage on the left side, even though they got that big safety on the far left. So we'll just do this. We'll just keep it with Bradley. No need to really pitch it there. We can stay here and QB sweep. We can try QB sweep. It's second and one. We can try it. We're going zone. I don't mind it. Uh, Bradley's not the swiftest of players. This is what worries me about. Let's do that. Uh, I wonder if we do this, see what happens. Get a block there. Nope, no blocking whatsoever. <laughs> and Bradley just doesn't feel like he's super fast. And he's about gassed, so... We'll do a halfback wreck. I was going to do a speed option. We're going zone here. And they're shifting that way. Uh, let's go left. Perfect defense. I, halfback to wreck. It's not a cheese play like everybody says it is. I can't get a touchdown every time I call it. And that's just good defense. Nobody blocked on that one side right there. Somebody came right on through. Somebody just fair catch it. That's what we want. We don't want him running around. All righty. Let's get back on defense. Once I get a quarterback that's got, like, some real agility, like I said, Bradley doesn't feel I know you probably can't tell on the screen, but he doesn't. He doesn't feel very agile. Feels very bogged down. He's got good top end speed at 82 or whatever it is, but but once I get somebody with some real agility, then I'll be able to do some more nifty things, such as QB sweep and draw. 
Good pick up on the play there. Think it through. He was feeling the heat, so he ran with it. All right, end of the quarter. Down to the fourth quarter. Let's take care of business. Third and one. I'm going to go with a 4-4 four -four here. They'll probably throw it. And they're going to goal line. They said they was going two wide, I think, and now they're going goal line. That makes a whole lot of sense. And I uh, took a bad angle. And he's still going. Still going. Picks up 30 yards. Just broke tackle after broke tackle. They're not giving up. The tackles couldn't hear that for whatever reason. It almost intercepted. That should have been a pick six almost. And he dropped it. We'll go back to quarters. It said they was going four wide and they got a tight end out there. Makes a lot of sense. Ooh. Good defense, Al. Okay, third and long again. We'll go Cloud. I'm going to go after him. Actually, wouldn't mind if he took off with it. He's capable of making a play with his arm. Ah, oh, still couldn't get to him. Good defense. Now, they'll probably go for it. And we're going to flip it, Cloud. Hope it doesn't mess us up. I'll get to him. Good deal. All right. So it's first to ten. Let's do the triple option from this formation. They're going nickel. You rarely see nickel when you call this play, or hardly any play from two back slot. And they're going that way. Let's move him over. Good deep. Yeah, it's good defense. They just played it perfectly. Defensive end, got off the tackle, and here comes the pursuit. So, it is what it is on that one. Let's go here. We're going to run some clock. We're going man. I'm going to leave it as uh, we'll move him over. We got that guy sitting over there on the far left, but we're going to go left. I was I was actually thinking about doing a, a pass here, but we need to run some clock, and I don't want a, a drop. That's a good pitch. That's a good hit, though. He got hit hard. <laughs> I guess he's okay, though. Oh, he got knocked out. We go back and look at it. It was a good shot by whoever hit him. Look here. Here you go. Hmm. Yeah, That's just a good hit. But the timing of the pitch was spot on. Okay. Uh, let's stay here. Let's do the double running back option. We're going. Oh, going nickel again. Good deal. Last time they made a good play, but and he's doing that. We got no choice but to go right. Now, I, I would actually think about keeping it with the quarterback, but I think he's a bit gassed. So let's just go here. That's perfect defense. Safety came through. We'll do a triple option from here. We're going zone. We're going dime. I may just hand this off to Johnson. And then we'll figure out what to do on third down. But we're going to run some clock. Get it down to a couple seconds. And he blitzed. Nothing you can do about that. I could have moved the wide receiver over to maybe see that guy, but its I don't think it would have made a difference, to be honest. So they're playing perfect defense on this drive. We'll go slot cross. We're going zone. If we don't feel any pressure, I'd like to see a big play from Humphreys here. We'll bring him over. And we're going to roll to our left. 
If they blitz from that side, we'll just dump it to Johnson to be done with it. Not feeling too much heat. Nice. Nice. Six points. Take it to the house, young man. Ah. You know what we got to do here? All right. This is an RPR. I motion. They went zone, so I motion our crosser to the far left. So I can roll with him for this particular purpose. They went cover two, so that made it even easier. So once I'm rolling with him, as soon as he cuts up field, that corner's going to come down. As soon as he comes down, I'm just going to throw it over his head. And look who's wide open. Number nine. Make a juke here, and it's off to the races. Now, if they go cover three or four, what you'll notice here is when I'm rolling to the left, if they went cover three or four, this guy would be going up which means this crosser would be wide open. So if I saw cover three or four, once I got to this spot right here, I would just throw it hard to him. It would just be me and like a, a linebacker over here. But trust me, he would have quite a bit of yards difference between him and a defender. So cover two, wait, go over the top like we just done here. If it's cover three or cover four, I'm just going to throw it pretty much as soon as I roll out a little bit. All right, that was the nail in the coffin. That was a good throw. That was all on the run a little bit, too. That's a great way to get an impact receiver out by his lonesome. Against man, you got the cover zero beater with the go round, and you got the crosser if you keep him over there. It's a perfect man beater. It's just a killer play. That cross round is about to become my favorite route because of the different things you could do with it like attack zone on the strong side of the field, which is hard to do in this game, unless you're running play action or other type of rollout. All right, let's go back to quarters. Anthony Little John's having a good game. I got the slot receiver on my side. They're going QB draw, and he picks up a first down. QB draws work pretty good in this game. Like I said, if Bradley was a little more agile, I would do it. But that, and I just don't know if he's that durable. So you're not going to see much draw for me this year. Eventually, I'll pick up a real stud who can handle it a little bit better. Same with the sweep. There he goes, running with it. Thankfully, he's not very fast. He's only got like 74 speed. Let's try a zone blitz. I know they got two tight ends, but we'll try it anyways. Just to break it up a bit. I don't mind him coming from the short side. Oh, they went run. I thought they was going past. That's why I kind of held up a little bit. Easy run there. Ran away from the blitz. Let's try the same play. They got a hanging tight end, supposedly. Halfback draw. Gets a few yards. I like halfback draw from under center. You saw me run it a few times in the last season at UNLV. I wish I would have ran it more because that's more true of a run play in the funny gun than basic runs. But, but it's good to know that halfback draw from under center works pretty good. Oh, they're going halfback direct here. Good stop there by Little John. Third and four, they're going, doing that. It says they're going goal line. We'll go cover one out of 4-4. Four, four. Humphreys, 219 all-purpose yards, two touchdowns. Had an amazing game. Good stop right there. Now they'll probably go for it. Nope, they're going to punt it. Let's do middle fan. We'll run, we will run it once just in case they try to call timeouts on us. That's a terrible punt. We'll do that. Everybody get out of the way. Let's go here. And I want to do just a basic run play with a halfback. They're going man nickel. Again, if they call a timeout, this is the only reason why I'm doing it. And they may not. Get a block up there. Dang it. He should have blocked him. Golly. And he didn't do it. Well, they're not going to call a timeout, so that's the end of the game. See, this play, I swear, you have to believe me, this play can work. 
It just hasn't worked yet in this dynasty. He just didn't block him. He just came right on through. But look at all this yards or uh, field I had to work with. Just nobody picked him up. Oh, well. I think I have an idea of how to fix that sometimes, but we'll see how that goes. All right, let's just take a knee and end this thing. It's second down now and 13 to go. Ball on their own 17. Well, that was a lot of fun. The run game is going well. Pass game, we're being very selective, and it's efficient. So I like what's happening there. Defensively, we're really shutting down the last three quarters of the game. Next up, we got LSU. Now, they're playing terrible for whatever reason, but they're still stocked with talent. So, I still have no expectations for that game. All right, big win. We could go check out some stats. Only 388 yards of offense total. 268 yards rushing. I'm perfectly fine with that. We threw the ball six times, but it's obvious we're going to run the ball a whole lot more. Big thing is no turnovers. Let's go to individual stats. Four of six for Bradley. He, he threw a little bit better towards the end. We had He had two big catch or uh, throws in the second half. The deep ball to Nicholas on the cover two zone and the big play to Humphreys for the touchdown. So two play, I mean, majority of his yards came off of two plays, which is normal in a run-heavy offense. You're going to have a lot of uh, yards per catch in the passing game. Running the ball, Bradley, Thornton, Johnson, Lowe, Humphreys, everybody got their piece of the pie on that. Bradley had a touchdown, Thornton had two, Johnson had one. And the yards were just kind of all that. Bradley ended up having the most of the bunch, which surprised me. It doesn't feel like he does, but he just quietly had almost 100 yards. Receiving, not a whole lot to see here, but Humphreys, he done his thing. Blocking, Terry, wow. Right tackle, he had 11 pancakes. This is how you get an offensive lineman on the awards list is pancakes. Sacks allowed is helpful as well, but it's all about the pancakes. And having one guy get 11 pancakes in one game, I don't know if I've ever seen that before. That's a lot. That's, I mean, that's something else. All right, defensively, a lot of people done their thing here. Akons, it was his guy. He had six tackles and an interception. He had a sack. He was definitely the MVP of the game. Offensive, defensively, he just put on a show today. Okay. Like I said, next up is LSU. Looking forward to that one. It's going to be a, it's going to be a struggle. It's going to be really tough just because they're so loaded down with talent. I think they went to the national title game the previous year and got beat by Michigan. So, yeah, come on back. We'll take on LSU and see if we can pull off the upset. I'll talk to you guys later.